Hi and welcome to Level Up Cartooning, where our goal is to take the mystery out of the drawing process by breaking it into easy to follow steps. Before we get started, make sure you hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Today we're going to draw another well-known American cartoon character, but we're going to give it anime eyes. Why? Because we can and because it's fun. Today's victim, one of my faves, Patrick Starr from SpongeBob. As you can see, along with his eyes, we're going to give a little different look to his body as well. All you need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? So let's get started. We're going to draw anime-eyed Patrick step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I use the character's head to figure out how tall the entire character is. In this pose, Anime Patrick is roughly two heads tall. In other words, however tall his pointy head is, his entire body is two of those. Alright, so let's start with that roadmap for Anime-Eyed Patrick Star. So there's our roadmap of Patrick. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put eyes, mouth, and some of the other things on Patrick. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing. So you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them very easily. So let's rough out Patrick's features.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features for anime style Patrick. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for the final step. In step three, we get to have the fun. We get to draw the final details of weird mutant Patrick. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. In this step, it's okay to draw darker, but don't hammer that line mindlessly retracing over the lines you've already drawn. Always look to tweak and improve until the very end. So let's draw in Anime Patrick's details. Alrighty, there you have it, Mutant Patrick Star with Anime Eyes. So how do you think you did? Understand, if you've never drawn Patrick, Anime Eyes or not, then you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. You'll notice I don't spend time coloring Patrick during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. Now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Weird-Eyed Patrick. With that, you can draw him again and again, and by all means, color him when you're done. I promise each time you draw him, it will be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. For those of you who want to go a little deeper, click on the link below for my free four-part drawing series, where I spend more time explaining the details and the thinking behind each step in what I call the level up cartooning process. So now I'd love to see your drawing of Patrick with anime eyes. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag LevelUpCartooning. I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to subscribe, and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing, my friends.